Okay, so flash was not going to work unless I turned off a certain lighting in this room. Okay, hey guys, so I know it's been a little while since I've probably done a vlog or any update with all of you guys. I, as I've already discussed the other day, that I've been away for a little while. And I'll be down in Indianapolis for another two and a half months. Um... Let's not even go there. I know some people are going to ask when's the graduation. I know you guys may want to attend via Zoom. But if you guys want to attend via Zoom, let me know. Uh, email me slash message me. That goes for Christian and Anthony because I know Christian wants to email me instead of message. <laughs> um, but, yeah. So... <laughs> Yeah, that's my enterprises. I, it's been a wonderful journey so far this last two months. I have picked up a lot so far. I've done a lot of cooking class. I've done surprisingly not a whole lot of O&M. Um, I've done a shit ton of technology. Um, hmm. Hmm. Oh, I know what I could do for you guys. I can make coffee. So, I have done... Here, let's go do that right now. So, I've done, like like I said, technology, stuff like that. Um, and it's been great so far. Okay. Okay, so, um, like I said, I've been doing a lot of, uh, technology in terms of, like, independence. I've actually been typing a lot more on the computer, so I've been actually doing well with, uh, typing skills on the computer, because before, um, I used to ask, like, oh, where's this button, or where's that? Now I just... I kind of already have an idea for certain things, so it's like I don't really need a whole lot of help. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh my god. I got so much crap up here. I don't even know what I have. Okay. Okay, we're gonna need some more water. So, yeah. I hope you guys are doing well in terms of, you know, me being away. I know you guys get a lot of good uh, content from Christian Sullivan, especially with his new guide dog. That's wonderful. Um, and I feel like I owe it to him because in some ways I, you know, and I know he wouldn't say no, no, you know whatever, but 
ever since like he was going away for his guide dog training, it finally hit a boiling point that I felt like, oh my god, like what is there for the visually impaired? What else can I do besides trying to find work and then nobody works it, you know? So, it was just at that point where I just needed to do more research, like he said. Because when I finally broke down to him, I was like, this sucks that I have nothing, you know, going on. And I remember Christian saying, you just gotta go out and research. And that's what I did. So when I talked to more people about different programs for the visually impaired or blind people, I heard about Bosch Enterprises and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna do it. Because I don't know what else would be out there. Unless I moved back to Illinois and did what they did, but that's only up until they're like 21, 22. So it'd be pointless to be doing uh, some office. So, after, you know, he left, about a month after all this crap happened, I decided to place a call for Bosma. And if it wasn't for my friends telling me to go out there and research and find different stuff and all that and basically give me encouraged to <laughs> listen to that watch <laughs> it almost looks like a cat peeing <laughs> if it wasn't for like you Christian that kind of encouraged me to go out there and do more research for, you know, more stuff for me to do, I don't think I would be doing Bosma today. So I have you to think, I have another friend to think, you know, because it's, it's a lot to uh, take into consideration. So I know when he was going away, that's why it was the last straw. You know, him being so independent and doing everything, I was like, you know what? Why am I still sitting around waiting for my VR to come back to me when I could be doing something much faster than this? So, that's what I did. I took his word, I took everybody else's word, and I thought, you know what, I ain't waiting around no more, lady. I, that's basically what I was saying. I was like, well, yeah. So, that's where I'm at today. Whoa. Okay, I got my coffee. Alrighty, guys. I'm gonna uh, probably stop within a minute here. Just because, I mean, I don't know how much storage I have on here. This phone, is, I swear, is being a good shit. So, yeah, that's about it here. I don't know what else to really say. Got some uh, badass creamer as well. Oh my god, like, how much more shit am I going to find sticky around here? Oh my god, I've been at a battle cleaning up. Oh my gosh. Like, I, I just cleaned the damn thing the other day and I don't know why it's still sticky. Oh my god. Joys of being independent, guys. Gonna learn all this extra shit. Cleaning and how to keep up with, you know. But yeah, so... I don't know, if it wasn't for all of you guys that kind of encouraged me to go out there and, you know, find these programs and do different stuff. And you know what, actually, to tell it to, basically to uh, Christian Sullivan and uh, my other friend, who actually, oh, I just put this in the wrong one. So, okay, so, this kind of goes out to uh, Christian and my other friend, well, my other friend was the one who joined this program before me. So my other friend, Cheyenne, I'm not going to say her full name, 
actually to all of you guys, I'm actually going to see if I can look into different programs along with this one. Um, there's actually one in um, Colorado that I might do a couple weeks, maybe after I leave here. Um, and then I want to see if there's other job opportunities out here because I've heard a lot of good reviews about out here. And that's why I say, like, I thank you all for encouraging me to basically get out there and just find what I could for me. And I've heard a lot of people after Bosma don't actually go back home. They actually end up working out here. They end up, like, living out here. And I'm thinking, you know what? Maybe that's something I need. Maybe that's, you know, that, that was a huge wake-up call. Hearing all my friends become independent, and then my one friend just got a guide dog, that was a huge, basically just a wake-up call for me, because I wasn't fully paying attention as to why people weren't working with me, until I, you know, I seen him, not seen him, like, leave, but when he was giving me all these updates that he got accepted, and all this stuff, it finally cracked. I was like, you know what? I can't sit around no more. I cannot do this and watch all my friends leave, you know, their house to go get a damn guide dog or to go to these programs and, you know, do all this crap. So, that's where I'm at today. So, thank you all. Especially to you, Christian. I know you may think, like, you didn't do enough for me, but hearing you going to New York and getting your guide dog was kind of a big thing for me to be having the strength to go out and find these places and become more independent myself and do a lot more that I know you guys are doing today. So, yes. All right. I will update you all later.